5, taking down all these probes, almost three times his food count at this point. So it's not looking good for Legionnaire. Uh, uh, Hydra's with Broodlord support is extremely powerful. Now I move on to his high yield. I'm going to try to destroy that. He's got some Stalkers, two Colossi, and a High Templar supporting that. Always got to lead with the Broodlords, send out their Broodlings to try to attract fire, and just because they outrange everything. Three Colossus going in. Those Hydras are going to get toasted by those Colossus, but I have eight Broodlords at this point. Still not the best upgrades. Broodlings attracting the Zealot Fire and Stalker Fire, but it looks like he is target firing my Hydras with his Colossus, which is going to destroy them very fast. All it looks like I'll have at this point is the Broodlords. Broodlords shrugging off that storm. You can see they're all in kind of the dark orange, so a little less than half life on each of them, it seems. Reinforcing with Hydras. His high yield is going down. And if we look down here, I'm starting to saturate my fourth expansion, or third expansion. A couple Corruptors up here as well. Not bothering to use Corruptor. Actually, it looks like they did use Corrupt, so I must have corrupted those Photon Cannons as well. But look at that army size, 157 to 41. And we're going to see some Zealots running into my expansion, killing my Queen. My resources are pretty high right now. I need to mic uh, macro a little bit better. Not too much larva there. He takes down my third expansion, so that's going to slow me down. And I will be almost out of money after this, so this is actually a significant blow to me. I actually should have counter-attacked right after I destroyed this high yield. He had so little, and I had all those Broodlords. I had all these Hydras as well. So we'll see where the game goes from here. I even have an Infester in the mix. I have him beat by over 100 food. About 5,000 minerals, 3,000 gas. I should have secured my advantage. You know, a weakness of mine is, like I said before, one of my strengths is nursing my advantage. But this isn't an advantage. This is this is more like an opportunity. I could go in, kill him, win the game. But no, I am playing too defensive at this point. After I defeated his initial army right around here, or was it uh, down here? I don't even remember. I just kind of held back, you know, I took out two expansions and just waited. And so that's allowing him to train up an, uh, an army. And he's only got 68 food, but he also has very few probes, so the f actual army size is a lot closer than it uh, looks, you know, there. Here we go, engaging again. He's got four or five High Templar, and I am just getting bottlenecked. I can't even get my Hydras to run past it. They are all so weak at this point. A final size storm destroys so many of them. Look at my food drop, 118 to 46. So very poor micro of my Hydras, but still these Broodlords have so much life. They're able to eat up a lot of size storm. Two of them finally being destroyed. Fester, lots of energy, but no, no uh, spells going down. And continuing to rain down Broodlings. So far, four Stalkers and one Archon at this point. He's down to 32 food while I'm at about 100. So I am macroing up and sending all my men over there, but you, you'll notice I'm not multitasking very well. I must be watching the battle, morphing in two Broodlords meanwhile. Lots of Mutas coming in the mix. One Broodlord did survive, and two more just be, just got evolved. I backed my Mutalisks up when I should have been picking off these Stalkers and moving in with the support of my Broodlords. But at this point, I did not know how weak he was. I figured, you know, he was queuing up a lot of units. I could have just, you know, defeated him right now. I'm going to wait it out and try to pump more units. A lot of you guys are probably thinking, man, he could have finished it, but, you know, at this point, I don't really know what he has. I don't know how big his force is. So I decided to play it safe. I just want to... I just want to make sure I get the win, then, you know, do anything rash, especially against a player like Legionnaire. When someone has that kind of reputation over you, you are way more liable to make mistakes. Sending my Mutas in, I should focus the High Templar and pick them up, but once again, another big mistake. I don't even attack those High Templars. They could take, they could kill these High Templars easy with about 10 shots or so. 8 Mutalisks, so just 2 rounds, but I did not do that. And meanwhile, I'm having to distance mine because he killed my hatchery here, and I'm just now getting 300 to put up an extra hatchery. I still have twice as many units as him in supply count. As far as income goes, he is getting very little from just four mineral patches here. And I just want to keep him outside of his base with an army that I know is superior right now. A 
another engagement. Looks like it's going to happen. Fungal Growth gets two Stalkers. Uh, I'm waiting for my Broodlords before I move in and try to pick off those Stalkers. Me shooting down a lot of Broodlings. And here I go, coming in with my Lings. I'm focusing my Lings on his Templar. And look at that great surround. One, two, three Templar going down. So that threat is nullified. Archon about to be destroyed. There it goes. The Broodlings alone destroys that Archon. Very, very small army from Legionnaire, just 46 compared to my 100, blinking back, trying to micro as well as he can, Link's going in, surrounding, Muta's bombing away, Hydra's bombing away, and Broodlord's bombing away, he only has 4 stalkers left it seems, he does not have the resources to produce anymore, I finally go in for the final push here, and his stalkers are actually in the back with the probes as the, the frontline fodder, and finally Legionnaire does GG, very very intense game and that was it. I should have secured my victory a little bit sooner, but I played it a bit too safe that time around, but still managed to pull out the win. Thanks for watching, guys.